Ladies and gentlemen, today we have Flindex, the man who has gotten the classics world record on nine solo, 34 minutes. How's it going, my man? I'm well, man. How are Let's you? Let's go. I'm doing great. I'm excited to check this out because, I mean, already, I find it so interesting that it's no Wraith Fire, right? It's Acid Bomb and it's straight yeah. to get that negative affinity. So... Tell mm -hmm. me about that. Is negative affinity the first thing you want to get? Because it's just easier to get. Like, I mean, you already got it. That was like four acid grenades and you've already got it there. That's insane. Wow. Yeah, so basically throughout the run, you just want to do everything you can to like hold the negative affinity. Usually right. it's not that bad. But um, as you see, as I'm progressing the rounds and especially killing these heavies from um, the temples, once I call them in, they make your affinity go up. So it's right. important to just keep throwing the acid bombs at the crowd. Your spawn um, manipulation is amazing here too. Just like how you're controlling yeah. this. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. If you just stand on the side of the arena, then the zombies will only come from um, a couple of the barriers. And uh, uh, do you mind also, do. yeah, explaining your uh, perk choices here as well? Because I find recently a lot of people have now started to utilize death perception. Is that just because of Cold War's usage, usage of it? Or is it just like really good even in BO4? Like, what's up with that? That's just so cool to me. Well, I think death perception has been a very overlooked perk. I agree. Especially like yeah. during the, the life cycle of BO4. And it's really helpful on this run, just for, um, especially the Ra step. Because right. the Ra step, you can see through the walls, and obviously you need to get the, um, the four zombies in the right order. And so being able to see through the walls to see where the zombies are at is just... Oh, it's like everything on the speed right. yeah. yeah, it's mm -hmm. I, I definitely agree with you. It really, to me, was up until Cold War's introduction of Death Perception that a lot of people... I started seeing use it more so back in Black Ops 4's world records. And so, interesting, you go right for time slip. I mean, you were just telling yeah. me how sometimes you'll be spinning those AATs. And it'll take you, like, <laughs> 10 plus spins. So, like, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the nature of 9, unfortunately. Uh, but, and also, just for the box down here, you want yes. time slip just so you can move it fast. Now... Are you trying to get the scorpion just naturally? You're not trying to get it actually from using the 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 juice like the regular way uh, with the spile, but that's really cool. Oh, you got Helion! Oh my gosh, man, yeah. that's crazy luck! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> wow. Yeah, no time slip well, yeah. is so broke, and then there's the scorpion. Yeah. Wow, that was super fast. Mm -hmm. That was amazing so, luck. Yeah, you don't necessarily need the scorpion from the first box. Right. Of course you do want it if it's there because then you just get more points for um everything else throughout the run. But if you do not get it from the first box, when the box moves, that puts the fire cells in your drop cycle. And so you can just play for a fire cell in the first, like up to about round nine. And um just spin the box while you're progressing the rounds. Your like spawn the manipulation spawn here is absolutely insane. Like, I just can't get over that. Like, you know exactly <laughs> where they're going to come out of. This is just ridiculous. Yeah. Like, it's so methodical it's... comparatively to the way people used to play this map, man. <laughs> um, and yeah. yeah, Spitfire also is like, that's the weapon you're bringing into boss, right? Like, this thing is mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. ridiculous. And it's also... Spitfire shreds. It, you have it also on the wall right for the last lockdown as well before the boss. So it's yeah. just, it's it's It'll easily be just the best. Yeah. And so you're running the quad burst attachment on it as well, right? To make it just that yeah. much better. Yeah. This thing is just ridiculous. And I mean, so what was like some of the hardest parts about this run in per particular that you remember? What was something that you felt like you struggled with particularly with this one? Um, honestly, I, I struggled with, like, just getting really good at the Zeus poles. Right. You know, you know the part where you need to get the, um, yeah, the shooting. kilowatt prop? Yeah, exactly, yep. Yeah. yeah, that can be really difficult if you're inexperienced or you don't really know what you're doing. Right. Because, um, the way that the step works, we'll see it later, but, um, I'll give a quick brief now. You get, um, four poles. And you can either fill them by getting two glads or two sets of, I believe it's six zombies. Right. And um, it's not a guarantee to get glads because obviously glads is faster than having to wait 
30 seconds to get your kilowatt back up again. Right. And um, it's a coin flip between a tiger or a glad on the round that you play it on. And so if you just get all tigers, then you just lose so much time. For every tiger that spawns, you lose 30 seconds, essentially, because it could have been a glad. Yeah. And it, it's just so frustrating. With the amount of runs that I've lost to just seeing those tigers hop over the barrier, it's the most frustrating thing. And it's just... It, it really takes a mental toll on you as well. Yeah, like, I, I honestly, uh, I can understand that. Because I've even done that step, and I always find every time I try and actually do it with a regular zombie amount, it almost never works. It's always when I'm mm -hmm. using it on the gladiators. And so, yeah, that is uh, just another layer of unfortunate RNG you have to deal with with yeah. this Easter egg. Uh, but, I mean, oh, you're doing man. really good here with your progression. Uh, also, any reason for Viper and Dragon? Is it specifically just for the Zeus lockdown step, or what is the uh, what is the idea for it? Is it also for the Monkey Bomb effect? Like, why why Viper and Dragon here? Also, huge nuke there in Odin Temple. That yeah, that was a saves big nuke. Like Ten seconds because the spawns suck at the top of the towers. Right. But um, yeah, you use the Vipers for the Zeus lockdown when you have all the Glads coming in. Right. I think it saves about twenty seconds compared to what we used to use before, which would be the Chakrams, just for the movement speed. Right, that but, um, movement speed is ridiculous, yeah. man. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's why I find it fascinating how every BO4 world record, and even sometimes there's a difference between classics and megas, how people will always run different specialist weapons for different maps, yeah. even on the mm -hmm. same storyline. Like, So... I don't know, just really interesting how you're able to do this. Also, getting this negative affinity here still with the acid yep. bombs. Yeah. It's Indeed. just, I find the hardest part about this Easter egg is the timing of everything, right? You have to, like you said, watch for the poo and then get all these other stuff all in line. And then your AATs, like, you're just juggling yeah. a bunch of things right at the beginning. Um, Here's also a bit of time loss with the... Um the glad you want right. him to spawn in the middle of the temple but he spawns below right which is um takes some yeah, time kind of to get him over here because, yeah yeah because if you actually um look at the glad he will start like running after you so you see i'd go down at the bottom of the temple to get him after me and then right. i just kind of kite him around the what would you even call this the stake yeah the wood. he is mm -hmm. so slow it, i just i find that so yeah. fascinating yeah if, if you don't look at him then like, he he can take, like, 30, 40 seconds if he spawns in a bad spot. Yeah, and that's, that's why ridiculous. that ABH as well at the, um, at 6.30 is really important. It sends you up to one of the temples. Yeah, no, I, it's so funny as well how, like, ABH was really heavily started being used in BO3. And then now also in BO4 on specific rounds. Yeah. Even though mm -hmm. not as good in BO4, just, like, the... The cooldown now for this skull step i have a question is there a specific spot that would be the best spot for the skull like i guess just whatever you find at first right but i mean you got an interesting spot right in front of pack punch here that was pretty easy yeah so so I mean, it, it doesn't really matter what spot the skull is at as long as it's not in kind of like the bridge to the shield room right because okay. if it's up there then you're just out of the way and you don't get to get to this room because um it's not really about getting the skull done, it's more about ending the round. And obviously you have to be in this room to get the, the skull done anyway, so you're going to play the round in here. And um, if you're quickly like running in between different locations on the map, that's going to breach the spawns and just slow down the round overall. So you just get a slower time coming out of here. Yeah, you know, funnily enough, you're actually doing the high round strat of this map by keeping these doors closed and like having yeah. the spawns at literally the maximum pace that they could be. So it's kind of interesting mm -hmm. how they both sort of like intermingle here. And then here you get the upgrade on the... <laughs> you're, you're not even going to yeah. go for the AATs yet. I'm, I'm yeah. just laughing at that. Yeah. Uh, but also... The spawns. Yeah, see, that's the other thing. Do you want to also explain the tech you're using for the Scorpion here? Because I know a lot of people might be looking at that and be like, well, how is he spam-shotting <laughs> this Scorpion? Do you want to explain that as well? Yeah, so basically, if you just hold down your reload button, so it would be R on PC. Pretty sure it's just Square on PlayStation or whatever it is on Xbox. Yeah. And um, you just spam-shoot. It'll just shoot with like an uncapped fire rate and it's just absolutely nuts. 
it just deletes absolutely everything and is really helpful for the blight fathers later in the run as well yeah i mean that's the funny thing because i've always thought the wonder weapon was kind of mid in a lot of instances but the fact that yeah. it instantly rinses through the bosses it instantly makes it at least somewhat viable especially like you said mm -hmm. for that lockdown like especially right here like the range is also just insane like it's mm -hmm. it's yeah. absolutely amazing like and yeah it, like i i think a lot of the majority of the beginning of nine's easter egg is just maintaining round speed always trying to make sure yep. you're going as fast as possible while getting that's everything. the number one thing yeah yeah and then also it, getting it, your aats <laughs> yeah <laughs> The first 15 minutes of the run is just a round speed run, and then the actual Easter egg starts. Like, right. You see, I'm placing the poo. Yeah. And then I've got to do two more rounds. Got to do here, two more rounds. Finally, yeah. start the egg. Yeah, yeah. It's very it's tedious. A lot of, and yeah. A lot of rounds. And I don't know why on certain steps it's only one round, and then other steps it's two rounds. Like, it, why they made it like that is just beyond me. Um, but one thing I actually wanted to talk to you about was the bull symbol step. Now, I know a lot of people can glitch out on that step. Is there also specific spots for that bull symbol shield step for the four spots you have to hit? Are there any spots that are the best spots or just the ones that you spawn closest to? Because I know there's a lot of different spots and like some of them can be a little bit tricky to find. Uh, but mm -hmm. again, it's kind of like another skull question. I feel like where maybe it doesn't necessarily matter. Well, you see, I get firebomb first this game, so I'm really lucky. Yeah, that's yeah, huge. Um, with the bulls later on, you'll see I run a particular route through the top of the map, and then I go down through the bottom, and it, it's kind of like a circle. You check the ones up top, and then run a circle below the map. Right. And. Uh, basically if you just see the bulls at the front of the circle then it's just the best like the first bulls that of you course. get to if you get all four of the first bulls that you see then that's going to be the best of course but um oh. so you play the end of the bulls in such a way where you end in like the pap room right and you can kind of see the um the last bull that's on another level and if you get that bull or any of the other ones then it's kind of fine you can just Play whatever that's just average balls but if you do get the shield room ball then it's just you lose like 20 seconds 15 right. seconds yeah so, so there, it yeah. definitely does matter then the order and does mm -hmm. do you usually get good rng on that step or do you find it to be hit or miss it, it's very hit or miss like yeah. i think i've only had the four for four perfect balls once like ever wow okay and dang so yeah i also I find that step way. Like, I find that step to be extremely glitchy. I've had multiple games where the souls, like, don't reach to the obelisk at the raw temple. And then you just get stuck in the Easter egg. Like, you can't progress because the game is, like, glitched out. I don't know if you've ever mm -hmm. experienced that. But I, I felt like I've experienced that a multitude of times by trying to even do it, like, nowadays. But, I mean, bro, your boss execution there is insane. Like, how the max ammo just gets yeah. sucked to you because you kill them right through the barrier. That's so funny. Uh, but, yeah. yeah well, uh, oh, sorry. About yeah. the balls. Yeah. I haven't had them, like, glitch out of me or anything. Mm -hmm. But um, I know that there is a texture glitch that can happen where the balls just don't load in for oh. some reason until, like a bit later on like you could run past a barrier that has a bull spawn in there right. and it just might not be in there yet and it'll just load in like a couple seconds later or something but i don't know i think that might be a console thing because i've got a friend who plays on console i saw that happen to him the other week i think you might be right because i I've, I've also seen errors like that when the second elephant in the boss fight spawns in and like mm -hmm. the soul doesn't like actually reach right in there and then also it makes sense you're running spitfire as well for this step because it's like yeah this step you just need fast fire rate like you can't just mm -hmm. you could have a helion but i don't know i feel like the spitfire would be faster to be honest well the the, the thing with the um the spores you see me not shooting it until now right because it's damage and then time based right ah, so you do a certain amount of damage you can see until the i shoot it until the spore pops twice and then i just leave it alone because after the spore pops the second time you just have to wait like 13 15 seconds oh, and then um you just shoot it again and then it just instantly dies so you see oh, i'm just kind of tap firing it now 
So yeah, that it's a weird sort of like ratio that Treyarch program for this yeah. step. That's that's bizarre, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I... like I've already done all the damage I can deal to it now, and I'm just waiting for the timer to go down. Basically, that's so fascinating. Really I thought it was like just spam it the whole time, but no, you you've got it worked out here. That's so cool. What the heck? Yeah. And also another thing that can happen is, I think this is only a PC issue. But if you just repeatedly keep shooting the spore, um, then it can crash your game. I've had that oh. happen a couple of times on some really good runs as well, and it's just absolutely devastating. That's you really sad. Play. No, I, I've gotten blue screen by doing a gauntlet on Black Ops 4, so anything is freaking possible on this game. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> so I don't, see. Yeah. I get the first two bulls there, right? which is pretty good. Yeah, this is not um, a bad bull spot. The spawn one is a good spot yeah. to get, yeah. Those those two are really good. Yep, you want those. And then, oh, and, not um, Ra Temple. So you though. see I run the circle, yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's like, if, if, if I got it in Ra Temple and here at Danu, then I'd be like, that'd be a really good run. But right. um, I and then finish yeah. the rest of the circuit. Yeah, I get, my get third that one, one there. Yeah, no, I... I've I've always found this step to be very hit or miss for a lot of different runs specifically because this is just a huge amount of RNG because I think there's like I think 12 spots or is it eight? It's a lot. Um, uh, it, it, I think there's nine locations. Nine? Okay, that's yeah. that's still quite a lot though. That's 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 definitely a lot of chance, especially because it's so like take out. yeah, like you said, like the 20 second delay. Mm-hmm. Take out the last bull as I'm grabbing kilowatt. Right. So that's no, also really like getting kilowatt there as well. Yeah, your AATs you... were really fast here. This is really mm -hmm. well done. Now I don't have to go and grab kilowatt after I'm done shooting the little coils underneath the map, which saves me a lot of time. I can just run straight up and right. around and do the um the Zeus step. Now for this raw step, you don't always get a blight father. Did you get a blight father on this one? Because I know sometimes if you don't get one you can go through this step quite fast but i mean okay your order for this one was water poison lightning and then fire i'm assuming yeah yeah nice okay mm -hmm. that was super easy like you just rinse mm -hmm. through that you yeah. didn't even get a gladiator there wow that was really <laughs> nice and yeah, then... i'm not sure if i get a blight in this run but the blights yeah. it's usually just annoying because they take a bit to get in the map right and yeah obviously they're a lot more tanky than the other ones no i just see i recognize yeah. the blight father symbol you didn't hit it see mm -hmm. that's also yeah. another layer of rng right there because i mean mm -hmm. the blight fall i mean you do have the scorpion so it's like you could really take him out really fast with it but yeah i don't know i feel yeah. like this definitely helps like it's not too much it's probably like max five seconds of time loss. it's not yeah. gonna end your run but it is another nice thing to just not have a blight that was a really fast raw step. Like, I have never even yeah. seen the raw statue inscribe <laughs> the middle area here like that. That's how fast you were. That's insane. <laughs> and then here, this is the uh, the step now for Kilowatt. And so, yep. yeah, the shield, shield is the so up. good on this one. And the Spitfire. Yeah. Yeah. You and just yeah. end up, you, like, draining all the shield's ammo for it so you can keep the ammo for the um system. no and you did that perfectly with the route there where you you get ammo for the shield and the spitfire like yeah mm -hmm. you've, you've got it down solid here is there yeah. a way that you see somebody beating your run specifically like i can't tell as of right now but is there a way that you think somebody could beat your run and by how many seconds so the run is definitely beatable. You'll, you'll mm -hmm. see later there's like an easy 30 second time save on my Zeus step. And um, the start can also be a bit quicker because of this new strat that was, um, it, it was always theorized, but no one had ever like actually thought to try it on right. classics just because of how insane the RNG would have to be. Essentially, you'd need a first box salvo and a first box scorpion so you can just sit in the two spawn at the danu temple and just fly through like the next from like round six to round eight you end up saving about 40 seconds than to what i do in this run and wow. that puts you with like about 40 seconds ahead just on the start but since you need both the scorpion and the hellion it's just like a crazy rng strat to play for and yeah 
Well, you yeah, did just... you did hit it here though with the Heliod and the Scorpion. So yeah, yeah. It's, it is a lot I, of RNG I though. I did get it in this game. I just don't yeah. think I was thinking about it to be honest. Yeah. Because no. it's still just it's still like in kind of like the strat testing phase. I haven't really played out too many runs like that. Yeah, and because, you know, um, I never get it. That's yeah. really why. <laughs> no, it's yeah. The I don't think people understand how rare the Helion Salvo is on BO4. It's extremely mm -hmm. rare. Uh, but also, I really liked some of the strats you were pulling here, where uh, for people that don't know, when you whip out your specialist weapon, it actually doesn't take out those zombies. It actually respawns them mm -hmm. in. And yeah, so you're and using that, yeah, you're using that to get more kilowatt, which is extremely smart. Like, get more kilowatt activations for the Easter egg. And yeah, I, me seeing this where you're using it off the zombies is so rare. Like, I usually always wait for the gladiators, because I find it almost never works with the zombies. But you hoarded up a whole massive load of them there. Yeah. So that's why it works. Yeah. I get really good gladiator luck this round. Yeah, this was but, um, always right next to you. Yeah, this is perfect. You'll see right here, this is the one part that really makes me mad about this run. And it's because I just lose 30 seconds here because, um, you see, I kill the glad. Right. One of these zombies from the kilowatt is out of the zone. Oh, and so it, it no. doesn't fill. No. And so now I need to wait for the round end. Oh, that's so sad. He just, yeah, yeah he just ran out like... See, that's the thing I've noticed as well. Like, the lines are not accurate at all. On it is. Like, they yeah. can be in the lines and still not fill the pole. It, yeah. It's so frustrating. And especially on a run like this, this could have been 35, 40 seconds faster. Yeah, it almost could have been right a 33 there. if yeah, that didn't right happen. Yeah, right there. That's yep. so true. I also find, like, even with Kilowatt comparatively to, like, Deadwire on BO3, it's so much harder to tell which zombies are going to get hit by the AAT activation itself. So yeah, yeah, it's it's they, it's a give or take right there. They put like a cap on how many zombies can get um, rocked by the AATs on this game. Right, it's really weird. And so round yeah. 19, you're on the Odin step here. Now with this step, is this step a time gated step or is it a, like based off of how many uh, bosses you're taking out here? Well, it's um, it's the reason we run the Vipers instead of the Shack because it's kill and time based, right, right? right? So you kill a certain amount of um, lads here, and then you have to wait a certain amount of time, and then you, you kind of just repeat that over and over again. But the Vipers just allow you to absolutely shred through all of the lads, making it way faster than the Shack rooms. Yeah, no, like, that's where that fire rate is insane. Like it's mm -hmm. going off. Because you can do that same trick with the, um, the, what's it called, the scorpion. You can do the same trick you do with the scorpion with the vipers and just buff up the fire rate. Right. By holding down the reload oh, button. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. And, and yeah. you, like, this is the funniest thing. Like, people don't understand how crazy this step is. Like, Actually, I almost do, yeah. always down. Yeah, I almost always down on the step. Like, it is so difficult, even, like, with the fire rate glitch, like, the amount that spawned in on you is ridiculous. Like, mm -hmm. especially with the tigers where they're jumping on you and they're doing like a hundred damage. Oh, it's ridiculous. But I mean, you finished yeah. that really fast. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, you're probably also going to be buying Ron Zeus before you head out. Um, no, but, I oh don't. no, you don't it's, even buy it. Yeah. Wow. No wow. You don't need Ron or Zeus for the, for the rest of the egg. All it is is the Odin lockdown and then boss. Wow. And also, okay, this step I find sometimes challenging, hitting this shot right on target. Is there any tips that you have for people to hit this shot right on par? Like, do you stand in a certain way or you just sort of spam it? Or what's what's the deal with that uh, step? Just look at the lineups. Okay. The lineups I'm doing have never failed me. Okay. I always get it within the first one or two um, shots. Yeah, no, you so, absolutely yeah. killed that. And so right now you're already on the final lockdown. With the Spitfire, mm -hmm. this is amazing. Uh, and again, is this another time-gated step? Because I feel like this one is just sort of like take out everything as fast as possible, really. So probably not time-gated, but maybe I'm wrong. It, it's another one of those things where it's like kill and time-gated. Kill and time-gated, you, okay. Um, yeah, you kill a certain amount and then the next wave of zombies come in. Yeah, so. because, yeah, this literally right after this, you grab the key and then you go right into boss. And it's like... 
Yeah. Boss, this is something I want to talk about because it's like, is there a way that you can make the boss fight on this map faster? Because you, you kind of think of it and then it's like, it's fairly straightforward, right? Just shoot the armor, mm -hmm. shoot the head, and then that's it, right? How much more faster can you get with that? You know, I don't know. So I, I really want to talk about this because um, this is a new skip that it's just been found in like the past couple of weeks. Wow, okay. Um, where with an insta kill, if you shoot the um, the chest of the elephant, right? The, this only works on the first elephant, but if you okay. shoot the chest of the first elephant, as soon as his armor pops off, he'll just die. Like, wow. he'll just fall over and die. You don't oh. even need to shoot him or anything once his armor's off. Oh, And so that that's just makes crazy. the boss like 20 seconds faster or something just because of the quotes because you end up like bugging the boss out or some shit or the um wow the announcer. and um yeah you just skip a bunch of quotes and the second one comes in faster so that would be difficult to do on a classics run though right because you need yeah, an insta kill that's the thing so the the tigers yeah. in the boss can actually drop an insta kill and okay. um, I, I don't get it in my run but usually you can get about two drops from them before the elephant comes out but now, that, you also need good luck in your drop cycle for that as well, because you're not always going to get the insta guaranteed. Right. Now, how much time would you save with that insta kill save? Because that sounds insane. Like, that's a huge skip, most likely. Like, probably almost a minute. Like, that's a lot of dialogue in between, oh, it, I feel like. It wouldn't be a minute. It'd be like 25 seconds max with the insta. That's still a lot, though. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the yeah. other thing. Another layer of RNG right there for classics right there. But I yeah. mean, for Megas, that would be a really cool strat. And it's, I wonder if it's because the game doesn't register the first elephant as like the actual boss in the fight, maybe? I'm not totally sure why that would be the case. Because that doesn't work on the second elephant, right? No. Oh, interesting. I think it, I'm not sure. I think it's because, um,. We've had some people like go into the code and see how the boss works. Right. But the boss is really weird in the way that it works because it's um. The, the two elephants have separate health bars, but the health bar is kind of like separated between when he has the armor on and when the armor comes off. Oh. Okay. And so I think this skip works because with that one charge shot, in combination with the insta kill, it just deletes the whole health bar, instead of like stopping it where the um. The armor would usually come in right and so i think that's what would do it oh that's because so also fascinating i saw this um this video that a friend had sent me where they managed to kill the elephant without even taking the armor off and okay. um apparently i was talking to some guy who's got like a mod menu for the game and he was able to replicate it and he said it's just because you just one shot the elephant essentially and um i'm not sure like how it works or what allows it to work but yeah <laughs> it's just something interesting i think your theory about the armor mechanic is probably the right answer because there is a very weird way that black ops 4 armor works specifically and i feel like that that's probably it as soon as it, the elephant actually gets to health it, the insta kill somehow works you know to me that just makes sense with the way that the black ops 4 armor system was designed because it was intentionally designed to be like the juggernaut replacement but it just really wasn't like this game should be dropping you armor like cold war if it was meant to be like the juggernaut replacement so that to me makes sense with what you're saying it's just it's funny how that also works as well even with the boss fights of this game like that's yeah that's really bizarre so i mean that that is really cool and so i mean yeah even though the second elephant has just that much extra i guess armor it it, it doesn't apply that's that's so weird and so yeah, i I'm mean not sure why yeah. it doesn't work for the second elephant it's just like one of those things because it's literally i'm almost certain it's the same model as well like it, it, it's it's got to yeah. be very similar if it's even different slightly. Like, yeah, that's so fascinating. I don't know, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, obviously with this part of the run, see this is like yeah, you see the blot just gets absolutely deleted. Yeah, like 
This is literally though the where I man, wish. Oh yeah, you got a big ABH here. Gets you right to the boss, pretty much. That is so nice. Yep. Like I love how also you're just not even buying the perks. You're just going right in because <laughs> it's like, need. yeah, I know some people like having homunculuses as well for this, but I mean, you're just gonna show them how to get it done right here. So, uh, and then yeah, obviously for right at the beginning. You're just going to instantly laser them. You're going to use the shield first, though. That's fascinating. Yeah. Um, and th this is for the tigers first, correct? No, the, the glads run out first. Oh, then, okay. Um, then the tigers. Okay. And yeah, like... Oh, yeah, you can just say they all sprint at me here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, you're they, ready they don't to stand go. a chance against the shield. <laughs> no, the shield on this map is absolutely ridiculous. This is just a massacre right here. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. literally Spitfire going off here, Viper and Dragon. I mean, yeah, it all makes sense. Like, I remember watching the speed run when people were using their Chakrams and Helion Salvo Strat, and even back in the days when people were using the Mog when that was good. You know, <laughs> so it's like there's always been a massive progression with these Easter eggs, and like you were telling me also how the Megas run is five minutes faster. Do you want to mm -hmm. explain that again as well for people to to know? Because five minutes is a huge difference comparatively to this run. So why is it such a massive amount of time? It's with the Megas run, you run a different specialist. You just run the level three scepter beam. And um, what the, the level three scepter does, it gives you the bubble that you can place down and you sit in a two spawn for essentially the whole run with insta kills going you place the scepter on one of the spawns and you throw wraith fires at the other spawn and it just deletes the whole round and makes it so much faster and that's where the majority of the time save comes from and, and, and that, that's yeah. just insane to me <laughs> that's as i was so talking crazy. about before the instas you see i get two drops there i get a carpenter and right. a full power so no insta there which is Kind of a bummer but i guess it's time safe for next time i so have decided to play this again. yeah i've personally never seen uh an insta kill at all in this boss fight ever out of all the times that i've tried it uh I, it's, to me it's almost always max ammos but that's because the gladiators drop the max ammos yeah the gladiators give you like scripted max ammos right and the tigers right. can actually give you drops that are part of the drop cycle okay yeah so that's pretty rare, though. I, if if somebody were to actually hit a legitimate insta kill, that would be ridiculous. And so, would you be able to take him out like right when he enters out right here with this insta kill glitch? No, you'd still have to wait for him to um, like be able to start receiving damage. So oh, okay, so like, right here, yeah. That lights up, yeah. Yeah, wow. And I, you're just going for it. Oh my gosh. That is yeah, so dying ballsy. Wish backup. Yeah, wow. No, yeah, Dying Wish is doing everything. And then Shield right to the head. Interesting that Shield does more damage to him. That's fascinating. Well, the, I believe the Spitfire does do more damage to mm. his head. But um, it's just not worth it. Because the recoil on it, sometimes right. you just don't hit the head. So you just end up hitting more shots with the Shield. So it's just wow. better to do it like that. Wow. No, the Shield on this map... If anybody doesn't realize, is literally absolutely ridiculous. It's mm -hmm. got to be one of the best it shields ever. Surprised. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's literally the the most important tool for the entire Easter egg. I feel like, which is rare. Some <laughs> yeah. some maps you don't ever use the shield, and then some maps you use them all the time. Chaos yeah. is good with the shields. Yeah, half the maps you don't even need to build the shield. Yeah, like, yeah. Like on Voyage or something like that. But then you got Blood. You got. Ancient Evil. Ancient you Evil is a big it's one. Just rely yeah. on the shield. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure on maps like Alpha Omega, you never build the shield at all. <laughs> like, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's so to. fascinating. And then here, you just rip that armor so fast. Wow, the Spitfire yep. on that critical That's point is ridiculous. And then Elephant down. Gee, gee, man. Wow. 34 minutes. To think that just one scepter difference gives a five minute boost is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Those scepters and the insta-kill. It's wow. just crazy how much of a difference it makes. Do you think that there could be a language skip in this map? Because I know some zombie maps, if you play in a certain language, the dialogue could go faster. Is that something you think could be a thing? or um, Possibly. I'm okay. not sure if anyone's tried out other languages on 9 specifically. But I know on Dead of the Night, 
you can save a couple of seconds by playing in Spanish. Oh yes. So it could be interesting to try it on the other BO4 maps. I'm almost certain like that's that's got to be the case. But I mean, Flindex, it's been an absolute pleasure, man. Any last words to say to everybody before we head out? Um, go follow my Twitch. Yes, sir. The next one. Yes, I and I'll have it like, all in down. I'll try the to link. stream as much as I can. Yes, sir. But yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, and uh, any mm -hmm. speed runs you're working up on uh, coming up next? Um, next, I think I'm either gonna start to learn Alpha Omega, or nice. play Dead of the Night for a 26 minute time. Yes, because right sir. now I've got the record at a 27:22. But I think a 26 would be really impressive, and I'd love to get that sometime. Yes, I held the 38-minute uh, Dead of the Night world record for approximately three days. So <laughs> let's get it. Uh, yeah. But uh, yes, Flindex, appreciate you for coming out. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it. And I'll see y'all in the next one.